Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. We are here today. Well, what do we have today, Norm? Well, we got this in. It's, it's in, tiny. It's, it's itty bitty. It's an SD card, memory card. It is a little tiny eight gigabyte iFi. Basically, this is the Wi-Fi connected yeah. SD memory card for your camera or it's not I guess new, camera. But a lot of people haven't heard about this. Okay. So what it is, it's a normal, it looks like a normal SD card. Okay. And from you know, most intense purposes. It is. It's big. It, it's it, bigger it's, than the one that goes in my phone. Well, it's not micro, it's SD for cameras. Interesting. Not micro SD. Okay, so jam this in the camera. How, how does it work? Do you have to set it up with Wi-Fi access points and stuff like you that do. in advance? So actually, uh, what you have to do before is you have to plug it. It comes with a, a memory card reader. You okay. don't have to use a memory card reader. It'll work with you any memory. Like your laptop has a slot. It'll you just can plug, plug it in. into your MacBook. I have a um, slot. You want to plug, plug it in? Let's plug it in and, and okay. set up. The point of this is that once it's in your camera, once you have it set up into your camera, you can take pictures and your pictures can automatically upload to your computer or to Flickr, Photobucket, or an FTP when you're connected to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi BGN. Okay, so uh, I moved, iPhoto popped up, obviously, right, when I because, first plugged it in. Yep, because it's, it's a memory card. But, but I, there is I already installed the app. The app was on the SD card, yeah. which was convenient, I thought. And it's an app that runs Adobe Air. Okay. Adobe Air app, so it's, it's pretty fast. Um, but you set up Wi-Fi hmm. networks. Okay. So right now we have it set up to our uh, Wispy, network. Yeah, Wispy. so our normal uh, Wi-Fi account. This model of the iFi also includes a uh, full year subscription to AT&T uh, mobile broadband. Oh, so anytime and you're in McDonald's mobile or Wi-Fi. Starbucks so, or yeah, whatever. When you're you know, in, in Starbucks and there's AT&T, it will automatically stick there. Okay, um, I like that. What else so do we have? You set that up. There's also new in this model is a, a new transfer mode. It's called Endless Transfer. So even though the card is eight gigabytes, uh, you can have it automatically, automatically delete pictures from the card uh, when the card gets too full. So but where does it upload? Does it upload them to my computer? It, can or up, to... it uploads to your computer based on the app. Okay. But you can also set up accounts. So I think right now you can have it set up uh, to both your computer, a local directory, um, but you can also have it set up to Flickr. Oh, okay, so this is already bucket. set up to go to your PC right. over so it's the other go to side my, of the go room. to my PC. I'm and not going to change that. It's actually not going from the card directly to the PC. It's going from the card to Wi-Fi to the iFi servers and from the iFi servers downloading to your app. Oh, back your to the PC. Open. Okay, that's so kind of weird. Magic. It's but magic it also goes straight from iFi servers to Flickr, sure. Picasa, it's Flickr or any YouTube, other number. Okay. and even FTPs. Okay, cool. So I have, set, I have it set up to upload to my Flickr account, which conveniently I have in this other window. So right. uh, we'll be able to see when new photos come so in, quick theoretically. Let's plug okay, it in. Grab the, let me eject the card. You, if you'll reach down there and grab it, it's just dangling out the side. Okay. Give me half a sec. Let me eject it properly. I don't want it to be angry with me. So you're putting the card in the camera right now. Uh, this is just a Sony kind of mid-range SLR-ish yeah, it's, it's thing. A, it's a Micro Four Thirds camera. Okay, Micro Four Thirds. Not a camera guy, in case you didn't guess. All right, so I'm gonna take a picture. Taking a picture of something off camera, it's gonna be a big mystery to everyone. Hopefully this isn't gonna take like eight minutes to, to come over here. It's processing, it's saved on the camera. As long as the camera's on, it'll power the card, it'll power the Wi-Fi. Okay. It'll automatically find a network that you've synced up. and. We're on a pretty fast Wi-Fi network. It does support B, G, and N. We're on a wireless G network. Okay. And we'll see how long it takes for it to upload. Um, when I did a test earlier, it actually took a, a little while. It wasn't instantaneous. Oh, so it's not like it's not. We, no. we, we, we're gonna have to right clock now, wipe and come back. I mean, this is a pretty pretty nice camera. It depends on the size of the image. I think these pictures are actually like 16 megabytes. So, so they're big. 16 megabytes. And this is JPEG. a JPEG or a RAW? It's a JPEG. Okay. 16 megabyte JPEG all the way up, and uh, huh. Or 16 megapixel JPEG. Yeah, so that's 16 a megapixel. 30 so meg like, like, like a two, image. two yeah. meg image. It can also do RAW um, and video. So let's see. It's, it's taking a while. Is it even loading into the app? Let's load the app up again. Oh, does it show up in the app too? Yes, it shows up in the app. The app is closed. Let's load up the app. So. I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures. Oh, wait, there it goes. Whoa. It's there. Whoa, I can automatically update Let my Let me take another picture. Take, hi. This is a picture I just took. This and is, let's see how long it takes for the other picture. Does, will it just pop up? It should just pop up. It's, it's push. Well, let's see if it's over here yet. Stop, and stop, stop. it'll also do video, so I can... Um, Wait, there, it's there. It's there. A Whoa. picture that I took is on Flickr. That's crazy. OK, so the neat thing about this is it, it'll do drive-by connections as well, right? So if you are like in a McDonald's parking lot and it sees open Wi-Fi, oh, here's the second picture you just took. This is the picture of me, I bet. And it's can uploading. we see these like full size? Are they geotagged and stuff? They're geotagged, but not in the camera. It's not actually using real GPS. Mm. It's using Wi-Fi based geotagging. 
so the coverage is not going to be everywhere. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so this is super cool. How much does this cost, Norm? Uh, it's 150 bucks. <laughs> For, yeah. a, for an 8 gigabyte for an 8 SD card. card? And it really doesn't even need to be 8 gigs because there's the endless oh, mode. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 8 gigabyte yes. card is like 20 it's bucks maybe? At most $15 on Amazon. Oh man, it's that a is. Thousand that percent is, markup. That is crazy. If you want expensive. the ability, if you're on vacation and you want to shoot pictures okay. and have to upload through Flickr, if you have Wi Fi when you have you're on Wi -Fi, vacation, yes. There's a lot of caveats here. Yep. Yep. What if you have like an Android hotspot though? That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, you can, well, yeah, that works. Yeah, that would totally yeah, work, right? And also, you okay. know, it doesn't necessarily you need to use AT&T hotspots. You can sign up for other hot, hot okay. accounts if you pay for like a T-Mobile one. Can but, the, but, the, but you're saying there's no, the geolocation is all based on Wi-Fi, not yeah, on... not based on real GPS. Yep. Uh, there's also an iPhone app. Uh, this what is, is the, the most app expensive. Do? It lets you see the, Let, the pictures. You see the picture. Okay. Uh, these are the. This is the most expensive model of the card. Actually, so this is the pro. It, it does out. raw. It does, does raw Wi -Fi. pictures, which you want to actually do right now because raw pictures are really big. Yeah. Um, but there's an explore model, which is a hundred bucks. Uh, okay. Does everything but the raw image and ad hoc networks. Okay, but it, and it'll let you connect to upload and to Flickr, upload, Picasa, yep. or Photo Bucket, yep. or wherever you want to go. Cool. So that's it. That's the uh, i5. So do you Pro like this thing or not so much? Uh, I like it. I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay for the hundred fifty dollar version if I travel a lot. If I had a nice DSLR with SD and compact flash card, right. which some cameras do, okay. um, I would get the eight gigabyte. The hundred dollar one. Yeah. Okay. Great. For testing, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Bye. See ya.